Okay, today we're looking at subject verb agreement, which is harder than people think. Even if you're a native speaker, you will come across some sentences where you think, do I need a singular verb or a plural verb for this sentence? And I'm going to give you an example of that right here. You can even start thinking about it now. I have given this example to many, many, many native speakers, and I think about 70 or 80 percent of them get it wrong because they use their instinct and not logic. Um, but have a think about this. Is it he is one of the children who go to school on a Sunday or he is one of the children who goes to school on a Sunday? See if you can work it out while I uh, talk about some other rules. So first rule to remember, X and Y is plural. OK, it's two things and is addition. Yeah? And so you've got one and one, which makes two. So that's plural. So if you say something like his ambition and curiosity, it's not is. And again, this is somewhere where a lot of natives might choose is. They really might. In speech, they re it's very easy to suddenly say is instead of are after something like this. His ambition and curiosity is exactly what we need. Now, that's not correct. It's got to be are. And it's because you've got one thing and another thing. And so are. Yeah. Now, there is one exception, like always, to this rule. And that is the following. Every woman and child needs singular. Yeah, that's singular needs. One thing here, guys, please don't think that needs is plural because you can see an S because you would be absolutely mistaken. Needs is singular. Let me prove it to you. One dog needs a bone. Yeah, needs is for one dog. But if we say two dogs, we say need a bone. So please don't get mixed up with verbs, yeah, need, needs, and nouns, dog, dogs, because that's what's going on there. I think a lot of people just look at S and think S means plural. Well, it does with nouns, but it doesn't with verbs. It means singular with verbs. So um, let's change it to is. Every woman and child is uh, on, on board. Yeah, every woman and child is on board, on the boat, I mean, on board. Every woman and child is, even though we've got an and and we've got an X and a Y. So if you see an every at the start, then you can disregard that rule. In fact, you must disregard that rule and you ought to use singular. And that's because every means everyone. And that's why we say everyone is and we say everybody is. Yeah, we use singular. So when you see an every, please use singular. Same with each as well. Each person.